How's it going? My name is Dr. Green. That is, Dr. Asphalt Green. You know, the renowned adventurer, Atlantis, El Dorado, the castle in the clouds, all those little trips that I've done. I'm actually about to head out on another adventure to an ancient temple to find a really, really rare treasure. And I'm looking for an expedition team. You know, actually, you seem to have some great energy about you, an aura that suggests that you love a good adventure. So what do you say to joining me on my adventure to the ancient temple? We're gonna be facing all sorts of obstacles and challenges, and we're gonna be doing all sorts of movements to overcome those challenges and those obstacles. And I think you've got it in you to help me get to the treasure. So, if you'd like to join me on this ancient temple adventure, when I say what awaits, you say adventure, okay? So, what awaits? Amazing, I'm so glad that you think that this sounds like a good idea because with your help, I just know we're going to succeed. Speaking of succeeding, one of the keys to a successful adventure is safety, okay? Now, according to the AG Adventure Safety Handbook, there are a few guidelines that we should follow in order to make sure that our adventure is super, super safe and therefore super, super fun, okay? So, first off, we want to make sure that we have an open space to move around in. Again, we're going to be facing down certain challenges and overcoming obstacles, and we're going to be doing all sorts of movements. So we want to make sure that we can stand in a spot and put our arms in front of us, to the sides of us, and behind us without touching anything, okay? That should give us enough space to do our movements. We also want to make sure that the floor that we're standing on is not too slippy, okay? So maybe we have to move to a different room where the floor isn't so slippy, or maybe we're wearing some socks that are causing us to slip around. So maybe we can just go ahead and take those off or put some shoes on, okay? Lastly, if any movement that we are ever doing when we're facing a challenge or overcoming an obstacle is ever uncomfortable, it is totally okay for us to stop and to do jumping jacks instead, okay? Now, you might be thinking, but Pat, we might be jumping over a cliff or you know, swimming across a river. How are jumping jacks gonna help me get across that river or across that cliff? Well, we're gonna be putting on some explorer's belts that have a teleportation device in them. And so when we put on those explorer's belts, right, and we do some jumping jacks, that teleportation device is going to get energized and then you're gonna be able to teleport to our location, okay? Does that sound good? Amazing, so we'll just make sure we have an open space, that our floors aren't too slippy, and that if anything is ever uncomfortable, we just do some jumping jacks instead, and then we can teleport to the location that the rest of the group has gone to. All right, adventurers, we've covered the safety handbook, which means that we're just about ready to start our adventure. If you're ready to go, when I say what awaits, you say adventure, okay? So, what awaits? That's right, adventure, and we're about to head off towards our home base, okay? It's right on the edge of the jungle that the ancient temple is in. So, in order to get this home base, we're just gonna do a light jog. It's not too far, all right? So just go ahead and run in place, or jog in place, and we'll get to our home base soon. All right, we've made it to home base. This is where I camp out before I head out on any other adventure, all right? And luckily, this home base is very, very close to the jungle that we have to get through in order to get to the ancient temple, all right? So, let's go ahead and make our way into the jungle. Okay, so, let's start jogging in place to the edge of the jungle. Oof. Wow, there's a lot of trees, it's pretty. Ooh, wow, the vegetation in here is pretty thick. We might just have to 
slow down and move some branches and leaves out of the way. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things, but it's beautiful in here. Do you see all the brightly colored birds and hear all those noises? Let's take a moment. Wow, this is pretty cool to be in a jungle like this, okay? But let's just keep on moving. We'll keep pushing some vines and leaves and all sorts of branches out of the way and whoop, freeze. Did you just hear that? Oh my goodness. I think it might be a tiger. We should run, run, run. Move all the branches. Move all the leaves. Oh, big branch coming up. Take a jump. Whew. Keep running. Oh my goodness. I think we just got away. Well done, adventurers. We overcame our first obstacle, the tiger in the jungle. Go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause. All right, adventurers, let's continue to make our way through the jungle. But do you, do you hear that? It sounds like a load of rushing water. I wonder if there's a river not too far away from here. So let's keep making our way through the jungle. So we'll just step in place, keep moving all of the branches and vegetation away and oh, freeze. We were right. There's a big, big river right there. Can you hear it? Man, that's super, super loud. It must be huge. Like, I can barely see you across to the other side. All right, well, let's head on up to it and see how we're gonna get across from it. Uh, well, I'm just gonna dip my toe in, see how it feels. How about you do the same? You can test it out and, oh my goodness. That's cold, isn't it? be pretty tough to swim across this river, but let's see if we can see anything. <gasps> Do you see that over there? <gasps> it's a rowboat. We'll be able to get into that rowboat and then row ourselves across the river. And there's another jungle bit on that other side, but I have a feeling that the temple is not too far away. So let's head on over to the boat. Come on, we'll jog on over. Perfect. And let's go ahead and grab a seat in the boat, okay? Now, there are some oars that we've got here that we're gonna have to use to row us across the river, okay? So everyone is gonna need to row across the river, all right? So this is gonna be a team effort, but I think we've got it in us, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the oars, right? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick our arms out, okay? wide like this and to row forward we're just going to do some arm circles forward okay it's just some small ones to start all right oh mm, i think we're getting a little turned around so we're gonna have to go the opposite direction just to turn us around all right All right, I think we're back on pace. We can go back to going forward and, oh my goodness, we're at the middle part of the river, so we're gonna really have to put in some work here. So let's go ahead and row some big rows, okay? Nope, we're turning around again, so let's just row backwards, try and get ourselves back on course. And we're here, and let's go ahead and just get some big rows as fast as we can. Ah, ah, whew, and Oh my goodness, we've hit the other side, all right? So let's go ahead and get ourselves out of this boat. Oh my goodness, get ourselves on dry land. Brush off the sweat. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a pat on the back. That was some excellent rowing team and we did it together. That was some fantastic teamwork. All right, my friends, so we've made it across the river. And as I mentioned, there's just a little bit more jungle there and I have a feeling that the ancient temple is not too far into it, all right? So let's jog on over to the edge of the jungle and let's head on in. So let's move all of these branches and these leaves and these vines all out of the way, right? Let's make our way over this log. So big step over the log. Let's keep going and did you hear that? 
Oh, it's a beautiful bird. Look at it, so brightly colored. And look at all of that, those flowers. They're just wonderful and what? Hold on. Oh my goodness. It's the ancient temple. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice it. It's huge. Oh my goodness. Look, it's so old and ancient. You see all of the vines and all the vegetation, all the cracks and all of the bricks and everything on it. Oh my goodness. An ancient temple like this is bound to have a really rare and fantastic treasure. I can't wait. Let's get ourselves inside. Okay, friends, we're about to head into the ancient temple, okay? So, if you have a flashlight handy, you can go ahead and grab that. I have one here, so I'm just gonna turn it on because I have a feeling it's gonna get pretty dark in there. But if you don't have a flashlight, don't worry. I have some torches with me, so I'll just go ahead and grab them from my backpack. I'm gonna hand them to you. Perfect. You can go ahead and just pick that on up and then light it. And we'll be able to go in and we'll stay well lit in the ancient temple, okay? So let's head inside. I'm gonna grab my flashlight. Let's make our way. So excited. Just jog on in. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? All of these hieroglyphics, all of these different ancient drawings of people and animals and everything. And it's like a language. It's so amazing and so fantastic. Ah, oh, this place must be really old. And really, oh my goodness. It's so bright, I don't even need this light anymore. My friends, it is the treasure, dead ahead. I can't believe it. Let's go ahead and take a step forward and, whoa, whoa, don't step, don't step, back off, back off. There is a giant pit just in front of us, my friends. This is the last challenge that we need to take and overcome before we can get the treasure, okay? So, I see some vines up ahead of us, all right? So maybe, maybe we can swing across this giant pit by swinging on all of the different vines, okay? So the way that we're going to do this, okay, is we're gonna start off by jumping off with our left leg, okay? And we're gonna reach up with our right arm and we're gonna try and grab one of the vines, okay? And once we've grabbed that vine, we're just going to switch. So we're gonna drive up our right leg and reach up with our left arm to grab the next vine, okay? And we're just gonna alternate. So we're gonna go like this, then like this, and then like this, okay? And we're gonna keep doing that until we get across the pit, all right? So are you ready? If you're ready, when I say, what awaits? You say adventure, okay? So what awaits? That's right, my friends, adventure. And the treasure's right there, so let's go ahead and swing across. So up, 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 Whew. we're nearly there. Just keep swinging, just keep swinging, just keep swinging, and whoo, the final swing. Whew. Oh my goodness. We made it across the pit. The final obstacle and the treasure is right there. All right, I'm gonna tip top up ahead and try and grab it. So you just keep a lookout, okay? And make sure no other challenges come our way, all right? I'm just gonna go up and grab it. Oh my goodness, my friends. It's the treasure. It's a golden turtle. Oh my goodness, with an emerald backing, an emerald shell, and then some sapphire eyes. This must be worth a fortune. Oh, what a treasure. And we did this, we did this together. Oh, oh my goodness, give yourselves a round of applause. We just, wait, did you hear that? It sounds like some rumblings are coming from the temple. I think it's gonna come down soon. It's all gonna come crashing down because we grabbed the treasure. So there's no time to celebrate. We need to get out of here, all right? So quick, let's run back to the pit 
and we gotta swing back across it across those vines, okay? So go ahead and grab it and swing, and swing, and swing, and swing, and swing, and swing, and one more big swing, and, and quick, let's run. Let's run out of the temple. Run out of the temple. Oh, we're back in the jungle. And quick, move all of the branches and the leaves and everything out of the way and jump over that log. Keep on going and go. Oh my goodness. And it's the river. We gotta get back in the boat. Quick, get into the boat, get into the boat and do your arm circles and row across. Row across the river. Row across the river. Oh, we gotta turn back around. So row back, row back. And then row forward, row forward. And we're across the river. Quick, let's just get back to home base. So let's keep running. Running into the jungle again. Move things out of the way. And we're at the swamp, so let's hop. Hop, hop, hop on our left foot. Hop on our right foot. And keep running. We don't even need to worry about the tiger. I'm sure we're moving too fast for it. So let's move all these branches and leaves and everything out of the way. Jump over some more logs. Keep on going. And Oh my God. I see it. It's home base, my friends. We made it. We got the treasure from the ancient temple and we made it all the way back to home base. And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so, so much, adventurers. All right, adventurers. Let's take a moment to catch our breath, regroup, and debrief what just happened. Honestly, I have been on many, many adventures, but none quite like this and with a crew quite like you. You have made this one of the absolute best adventures of my life. So you should be super, super proud of yourself. I know I'm super, super proud of you, okay? Now, whenever I finish an adventure, I always like to mark it by doing something special, okay? So you can feel free to do this once we have parted ways, right? but this is something that I always do. You can go ahead and grab yourself a piece of paper and some coloring utensils, okay? Then, once you've done that, you can have a think about your favorite part of our adventure today, all right? Once you have thought about that, maybe it was rowing across the river, maybe it was swinging across the pit in the ancient temple, right? Once you've thought of that, I then want you to think of one positive quality that you displayed during that part of the adventure. So maybe you were showing great teamwork while you were rowing across the river because you wanted to make sure everyone got across. You were making big, big rows, right? Or maybe you displayed some really, really great bravery because you were a little bit unsure about the pit, but you went and you swung across because you were like, no, I need to get to that other side so I can get the treasure with my team right? So go ahead and think of a positive quality that you displayed, right? And then what I want you to do is using that paper and those coloring utensils is draw your favorite part of the adventure and then incorporate and work in somehow that positive quality you displayed, okay? So for example, right? One of my favorite parts of our adventure was rowing across the river, right? Because I was just so amazed by the teamwork that you all displayed, and I was really proud of myself for displaying teamwork as well. So over here I have teamwork makes the dream work, right? And here is us rowing across the river to the other side where the jungle is, okay? So that's an example of something that you can do, right? And I incorporated the thing that I was proud of by adding one of my favorite quotes Teamwork makes the dream work, right? And I was able to mark my adventure by drawing a picture of it and then celebrating one of the positive qualities I displayed during my favorite part, okay? So you can go ahead and do that once we part ways. And in fact, it's about that time. My friends, it was an absolutely fantastic journey with you today. We got the treasure. You should be so, so proud of yourself, okay? Now, let's end things on a positive note with a positive cheer. So when I say, what awaits, you say, adventure. So what awaits? That's right, my friends, adventure. And the adventure does not stop here. You go on out into the world and keep trying to find more and more adventures and displaying all of those positive qualities. All right? 
Take care. Dr. Green, signing off.